Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna repurpose this mason ring and sealer into something super cute to either hang on the Christmas tree or use as miniature decor and as a bowl filler or a tiered tray. And I really hope that you like this idea. I'm Summer with HammondsNest.com. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope that you love this project. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you we're making a miniature pie. I have seen and just kinda wanted to put my own twist on these faux pies that are going around, they have a little bit of a primitive country look, um, and I just love them. But this is what I came up with. I was just thinking about repurposing something. Now you can use any kind of vessel to build the pie in. But this little mason jar ring, which ends up being about a three and a half inch circle, is a perfect little ornament size. So you saw me glue the pieces of the mason ring together. I traced a circle onto some um, red fabric that we're gonna put on top that I'm gluing now, and some polyfill stuffing. And so the circle of the mason jar is about three and a half inches and I cut my circle about five inches and that just gave it some excess fabric as I'm kind of stuffing and working that on top of the mason ring. And so you just work very closely with the hot glue. I have my little finger protectors on and I'm just kind of going around and I'm pressing down, making sure that gets glued. And we're gonna put some more layers on top of this so it's real rough and you can just trim off the excess that's sticking out majorly. And then we're gonna go back in right now because I did need to make it an ornament. And we're just gonna find a little piece that isn't glued down all the way because you'll definitely wanna check it. And I'm gonna cut a piece of jute string and I'm just going to uh, knot it and I'm gonna stick some glue in that little hole and then seal it back up. And then we're ready to move on to our other steps. So now this would be an ornament. Even if you make it an ornament though, you could still just tuck the string underneath the little faux pie and use it however you like. So having a string is a great option, I think, in case you wanna hang it around. And now we're gonna take some fabric, which is this, the Osnaberg fabric that y'all ask about all the time. It's one of my favorites. And we're gonna do some little pie lattice work. So I'm just like making some rough measurements of like a little grid there. And then I'm getting a start gluing down my pieces. This, the length of these will all depend on the amount of stuffing that's in your little pie. So, but right now you can kind of see as I'm bringing the pieces down that are going vertical, I am weaving them in to give it that really old fashioned pie look. And I am loving the way this looks. It gives it so much more character. I will show you at the end a couple more pies that I've already made that have a different look than this that I didn't do the lattice top. And maybe that'll give you some other ideas. But once you get your lattice completely in place, you can go ahead and trim off the excess again along the edges there, and then we're gonna do our little pie crust. And that will require that you rip some more fabric in the same uh, kind of fabric that I used for the lattice work, and that's that Osnaberg cotton. So once we get that trimmed up, we'll get our other piece of uh, cotton. Oh wait, I almost forgot this step. Okay, so just to kind of mute the silver of the mason jar ring, because when you hang it as an ornament, you'll see the side. Uh, I just took some rub and buff and the Spanish copper and I kind of just brushed on there and that kind of dulled the shine. Okay, so back to our little pie crust. So we're gonna glue it and what you're doing here, I'm gonna just show you in slow motion kind of, or real time I should say, um, where you just put a little glue dob and then you kind of just fold it and pleat it over. And once you do that a few times, you'll see the shape of the pie crust taking shape and form and you'll love it and you'll think it's pretty cool. Um, but just do that all the way around till it looks like that. Now, if you want to add some more character, I think it looks cute either way, but I took some Mod Podge and some cinnamon just on the plate. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of brush some Mod Podge all over the pie crust and the lattice work, and then I'm gonna go grab some cinnamon on the same brush and kind of dust it over there, and then put some more Mod Podge back over the cinnamon. It's real simple, it takes no time at all to do this. It just adds a little bit of extra character. It makes it kind of look like it's a home-baked pie in a way. You know how there's some um, shades of brown, you know, if you have like an egg wash over the actual pie crust, if we're really baking here. <laughs> so we're just giving it some extra, some extra dimension and detail. Okay, so set that to the side while that's drying. We're gonna pull out a little bitty strip of our uh, Osnaberg cotton again and my little rubber stamps. I get this little miniature rubber stamp set from Hobby Lobby. I have several different sizes. Um, I, I find them very useful in all the ways. But I have never seen this before, but I just was thinking Christmas and a cherry pie and I just did Mary Cherry as my little tag. I thought it was pretty cute. So now we're gonna rip this red striped ticking fabric and I'm just gonna cut a few short pieces I'm just gonna do a little rustic layered bow, very, very simple. Nothing else but the little red stripe fabric. Tie that off with some twine, and then we'll just glue that, our little tag, and our little button on the top of our pie, 
and it will be complete. Like I said, I'm gonna show you here in a minute the other two little pies I had fun making. I made an apple one, and then just a really generic one. I didn't give it any type of label as to what pie it was, but I did use some chunky yarn to do like a faux whipped cream on the top, so that was really fun. And then on the apple one, I painted the little slits, but you'll see that here in a sec. But look, you don't have to necessarily use a mason jar ring. You could repurpose any kind of lids or any kind of little just mini vessel. Um, I just thought they were just so precious see there's a little faux whipped cream with a little pie and then the painted slits on top of the apple but anyway i hope that this idea lets your creativity run wild and that you have fun maybe get together with friends and family and craft during the holiday season and make special memories thank you for hanging out and watching and you have a blessed day